Hello friends, this video will discuss about sampling distribution of the mean. So we will discuss sample distribution would always follow a normal distribution. Whether it is coming from a population distribution that is normal or not. It could be the population distribution could be exponential or any other distribution. But whenever we take a sample size, any, any sample that is having a size more than 30, the statistic, the mean would always follow a normal distribution. I would prove it by using three distributions here by generating uh, and simulating in R. So here I I will first start with a normal distribution having mean 5 in standard deviation 6. So I'm just setting seed 1 just to uh, for application purpose you can also replicate my results. I'm generating 100 random normal way observations with 5 mean and 6 uh, standard deviation and this is the mean of that. In this way, I want to do it 100 times. So I'm using the replicate command here. The replicate command will do this task. I would, uh, this is the first sample I have taken. In this way, I would generate 100 and a mean of that. So 100 sample means I would store in a vector A. So here friends, this is my replication A. And this is my vector of sample means. This is the mean of that. Mean is 5. It means it is 4.96, which is very near to the population mean phi and standard deviation of a is 0.59 approx which is like uh, as per central limit theorem it should be 6 by uh, square root 100 that is 0.6 so it's very much near to that this is histogram of that it seems normal but now here we can do jark beta test to so test for the normality so i am just uh, uh, attaching the moments package and jar test of this a variable and I'm saying yeah the p value is less um, more than 0 0.05 so I can say I am not able to reject the null of no um, normality so I say data is normal now I would take a population distribution that is exponential with an arrival rate of 0 0.2 uh, so here what will I do again set seed 1 and the same thing I would uh, generate from a exponential distribution 100 random numbers with the mean instant deviation 0 0.2 uh, I would replicate it 100 times and generate another A so now I am having 100 numbers mean of that is 4.99 very near to the population mean uh, instant deviation histogram it seems normal and by using JAR test again it's normal so in this way we can say whenever a sample uh, the sample distribution of a sample mean is normal even though the population is, is exponential distribution in this way I can also do for uh, uniform distribution I will do it for uh, I am just using R unif command I will do 100 times 100 samples and the histogram again is normal I can use jar para test so it's 0 0.056 more uh, more than 0 0.05 so i can say yes it's normal so overall friends the t uh, the key takeaways from this uh, video is that sample mean follows a normal distribution with the population mean and its standard deviation would be population standard deviation divided by the square root of sample size uh, whenever we have sample size more than 30 we can always invoke CLT and when say the sample distribution is following a normal distribution sample distribution is always normal, friends no matter which distribution it is coming from in this way you can also by using the same codes and by increasing sample size you can check the consistency consistency of our estimates sample estimates so friends thanks for watching if you need anything Please do let me know. I would just try to upload that video. Thanks friends.